Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be talking about healthier choices management, taking some more HCMC. In this video, I'll be covering exactly why I am extremely bullish on HCMC in the foreseeable short term and the foreseeable future long term. Everything in this video can be found on the Healthier Choices Management website. You can just go onto the website and look on news. Everything covered in here will be on here. And there is a particular article which you can find if you just search up HMC SEC filings, where we'll be talking about 8K, which is how much the acquisition costs for Healthier Choices Management. As always guys, show support for HMC by smashing that like button down below. Comment down below what you guys think HMC can go to. And none of this financial advice, so do take one after the grain of salt. Make sure you do your own due diligence and research. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So pretty much we are going to start it off with the year end letter. And this is what it made me extremely bullish going to this year for HCMC. So we'll be covering this one by one. For those of you who haven't read this letter yet, essentially HMC, the CEO of HMC gave a plan for the company at the start of 2022 or rather the end of 2021. One of the first thing they said was that having in 2022, as I've stated before, we intend to continue our corporate growth initiatives. We will endeavor to firstly grow our revenue base through a larger footprint and brick and mortar as well as online. So this takes us to our first kind of piece of information that I want to cover, which was how are they going to grow the revenue? Well, we have already known that HMC announced the acquisition of Mother Earth Storehouse, an organic and natural health food and vitamin chain upstate in upstate New York. And this was February 10th, 2022. And already you can see straight off the bat, this acquisition is anticipated to approximately double HMC's annual revenue. And so this is where the SEC filing comes into handy. And this is why we're also going to be looking at the earnings. So already going into the earnings, this is for Q4. So this is ending the year of 2021. We can see that for Q4, their total sales is sitting at 3.2 million. Now, bear in mind that this acquisition was made in February 10th, 2022. So this was made in Q1 of 2022. And this is why if we look at the Q1 of 2022, we can see their total sales actually increased to that of 5 million, right? So we can see a big increase from 3.2 to 5 million. And this was the result of the acquisition. Now, firstly, understand that this acquisition was made in February the 10th. So we still had one whole month of revenue not accounted for because it Q1 covers from January all the way to March. But... They, this was only acquired in February. So this only covered February the 10th. So minus the first 10 days and also that of March. So this is how much the revenues already bring. And now how much did this acquisition cost? If we look at SEC finding, we can actually see that this acquisition costed around or rather for an amount of $5,300,000. So this is a, a acquisition that costs around $5,300,000 and then said to double the annual um, revenue for HMC. And this is extremely important because this goes back to how they want to grow their revenue and how they are gonna increase their company, their company growth initiatives. Because we gotta understand this is how HMC's value will go up. If you guys want to see HMC share price go up in the future, they need to do things fundamentally. And, and I'm talking about in terms of the actual company growth, rather than just winning a lawsuit and having a huge lump sum of money, because that is obviously very good. But again, guys, in the short term, we are definitely not gonna see any kind of lawsuit news. What we do want to see is how they grow as a company. And so that's why that's extremely important. So this is something that costs 5.3 million and is already bringing them a healthy amount of revenue. And again, it's meant to double. So we can see that roughly every quarter, we are likely to see around five to six million and a bit higher. Again, this is not accounting for January because this was acquired in January. So every quarter, we're going to see more revenue. And again, going to that Q3, Q4, we're definitely going to see higher revenue as well. And so that is already kind of the first thing checked. And this is going to be a big part. I know a lot of investors are invested for the long term of HMC. I know you guys are invested for kind of a year, two year, and three years and longer now. There are some people for the short term. And again, we talked about how if you are one of the ones who are able to buy in at lower price and sell off at 0 0.002, or when you could have sold off at 0 0.003, obviously you're making profit then. So far right now, you know, that is how you make money, I guess, quote unquote, short term. But still, 
there is that chance of HTMC going to that 0 0.004 without any lawsuit, just purely with the fundamentals. So that's already the first thing. The sec second thing is expand upon our intellectual property suite. So let's take a look at the intellectual property. So their intellectual properties and their patents are first in QCOP, QUnit, QWIC, and QWIC G, pretty much everything with e-cigarette. So far this year, they actually haven't done anything in terms of their patents. Again, if we look at their press releases, nothing in terms of the patents. So they actually haven't done anything on that bit yet, which is something I do want to see. Rather, instead of actually expanding and I think they want to take a different approach because we have seen HMC actually cut down in their vape stores in kind of those any e-cigarette sections. And so their approach is rather making more patents, maybe grow it in the future, license it, but in terms of the brick and mortar for e-cigarettes, they actually want to cut down down because they see a better opportunity in firstly stuff like Mother Earth Storehouse for organic and natural health food, and also talking about the health and wellness, which we'll be covering in a second. And so that is something we haven't seen yet, but we will see because they have already, firstly, promised the grow our revenue base, which they have done. They have promised increase our profitability, which they have done. They'll also talk about the health and wellness, which they have done. So four things they really mentioned, like whilst health and wellness is not covered in here, it is something that they do want to do. So four things they have talked about, three things they have already kind of promised and show their promises. Just the one thing expanding on their intellectual properties, that is something we do want to see and do want to see them increase because that will be a huge part. Now this is definitely something that I'm actually waiting for in three, four, five years time. I definitely think this will be kind of a dark horse um, in the future. Right now we may not see a huge impact, but definitely in the future will have a huge impact. And then lastly, they're increasing our profitability. And again, this is going back in terms of their revenue. So if we look at Q4, the loss from operations. So the gross profit was certainly sitting at 961,000. If you look at the Q4, gross profit sitting at $1.9 million, right? And so that is the power of the acquisitions. And this is why these acquisitions are extremely useful. Again, this acquisition cost 5.3 million. If we look at how much cash they still have remaining after the Q1 of 2021, it's still sitting at $20.5 million. So they are still able to make more acquisitions. And then we look at loss from operations, $1.4 million or $1.35 million, right? 20 million, they are able to keep this loss from operations for a, for a while. Now, this is obviously not something we do want to see. We do want to see HTMC go into profitability. But one thing that this first HTMC and other companies that are not in profit is that HTMC is a company that is firstly able to afford themselves losing money, but also they're trying to turn into profitability because they already have market shares, right? And that's extremely good for us. If we look at kind of Q2 or, or rather Q4 of 2021, Firstly, gross profit, 961,000, right? Already a million dollars in difference. Secondly, their loss from operations was 2.4 millions, whereas for Q1, 1.3, another million dollar, which obviously you guys can see from the gross profit. And so they are actually moving up in terms of increasing our profitability. And this is what I'm talking about in terms of the things they've promised, which they have actually done, is increase their profitability. Now, all of this already, it's improving the fundamentals of HTMC, which is, was a huge thing for HMC investors because everyone thought they were going to be bankrupt. Everyone thought there was a scam. Everyone thought there was no future. First of all, we understand that HMC can't go bankrupt because of the fact that they still have firstly $20.5 million left. They make acquisitions the way they, they can afford. So that's the bankruptcy debunked. Secondly, no growth. We have seen growth. We have seen them go 5 million. We have seen them go, um, you know, gross profit to grow by 1 million. We've seen the loss of operations decrease by 1 million, right? And so all of these things, and as a matter of scam, you know, they've made these acquisitions, they've made growth. If you still think it's a scam, there is really nothing I can say, um, nor I can do it. Again, at the end of the day, guys, it is up to your own due diligence. And then moving on lastly, is talk about the health and wellness segment. Now they've actually done a lot of things. If we already look at their press release, firstly, we've seen the exclusive provider contract with Elevated Living. We've seen their Healthy Choice Wellness Center at the Cash Bar Spa and Salon located in Fort um, Lauderdale, Florida. We've seen the first Healthy Wellness Center licensing agreement. So let's take a look at these. Firstly, this is one of the recent ones. Guys, if you want to make sure you keep up to date with HMC news, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn that notification bell. So this is one of the recent ones. And this is huge, guys. 
The reason why I say this is huge is because this particular company, Elevated Living, that they've made a contract with are a huge business. They operate in multiple states, in 20 states, guys. So firstly, they're only right now working over Florida. But if HMC want to work into other states, they already have kind of a way in because Elevated Living has said that they want to continue to open additional healthy wellness center in additional states in which we operate. This is quoted by the CEO of Elevated Living, right? And so they are able to open to more states. And so we don't have to worry about in terms of will HMC have difficulty expanding? All companies are always going to have difficulty expanding into different states. It's a matter of how well they can ease into it, how well they can firstly open up. And we've already seen HMC have that ability to open up in 20 different states. The second thing was another thing. Right now, their focus, obviously, you guys can see in Florida with health and wellness, which they offer IV therapy. So what right now, the goal is that they are tapping in into different kind of firms, into different places to offer their services rather than creating their own thing, which I think is a big thing and is how they're going to grow. Again, understand that HMC has a lot more power than other companies because of the cash they have. And then lastly, health wellness licensing agreement. Again, just a, you know another kind of fundamental factor which helps them grow their company. All of this is adding up for HMC to do extremely well in the long term, which is why I'm extremely bullish, guys. Comment down below if you guys are bullish on HMC as well. Comment down below what you guys think about HMC. Anyway, guys, I hope this made sense and this is helpful for anyone who understand who finds uh, kind of want to understand why they should invest or why they shouldn't invest. These are my own opinion, guys. So. Leave a comment down below what you guys think. Anyway, guys, this is it. I'll catch you guys next time.